everybody, uh, this is Shelby, and we're looking at part 11 of Let's Play Night in the Woods. Let's get started. Um, if you'll recall, last time I left you, uh, we were just about done hanging out with um, Lori M., the future horror movie creator who hangs out on top of the old pickaxe. And now we're gonna go see what B's doing. Hey dude. Hello. How's working here going? Eh, I don't know. It pays. I, like, refuse to unload all that rock salt by myself. It's not even Halloween yet. Hey, May. How's the pickaxe? Trying to kill me. Unsuccessfully. Thus far, at least. What's so stressful? Well, on top of everything else, we're hosting that stupid Harfest play tomorrow. Oh, wow! Yeah, I'm never offering to do this again. What are you up to tonight? Uh, nothing. I'm like super tired. Because everything about my life is exhausting. And I'm doing the work of like three employees plus a store owner. Even though I'm one employee and I do not own this store. Oh, weird. I thought for some reason you own this place now. You'd think. But also no. I'd rather die. Literally make me a coffin, using materials and tools from this store, and bury me anywhere else. Jeez, that got intense. Ugh. Anyway, I'm doing nothing tonight. I can do nothing too. Fine. So are we doing this? Not sure. Got a couple other stops to make. Okay. Hey, May. Hey, Angus. How's video land? Good, good. Start of the Halloween rush. Got a pretty good horror section. Nice. You got a favorite? What, horror movie? Yeah. Black Oaks. Oh, nice. Witchy. Yeah, it's witchy as hell. And scary. Yeah, that one's like historical. The witchy version. Well, see you later. Bye. Sunny again, thank goodness. What's got you down? Ah, it's nothing. Hey, uh... Go smelters, right? Yeah, go smelters. Hey, Germ. Hey. Want to hang out? I don't know. Supposed to hang with Greg or B tonight. 
Jeez, I'm not asking you to run away and get married. Yes. Okay, what do you want to do? Follow me. We're here. We're in the parking lot. Yep. We walked for like 15 seconds. It's like really big here. I could throw a rock and hit where we were just standing. You can see like all of the sky here. Oh wow, you can. Okay, so seriously, we're just looking at the parking lot? Sometimes. Sometimes? Sometimes in the morning. If you're up on the hill back there, a whole bunch of fog passes over the lots. And it's like an ocean. And there's a herd of deer that comes through. And it's like magic. Wow. Why did we ever need this much parking? There was the food donkey, and the old secondhand store, and the shoe store. There used to be a record store back here somewhere. All gone now, though. Yep, just a lot of asphalt, weeds, and broken glass. It's so pretty. I love it. Hmm. You know, if they never do anything with this, in a bunch of years, this is going to be like regular ground. Wow. Nature's old. It waits you out. That's spooky. Okay, we're done. What? Let's go. Hey. So, I've been having... I have to go now. Bye. Hey, hey, hey! Hi! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Whoa, what's up with you? I want to do something! Okay, wow! You drink, like, all the coffee? I can't have coffee. Makes me anxious. Oh, wow, that sucks. And it tastes gross. Not if it's mostly milk and sugar. Seems like a lot of hassle to make something gross taste okay. Good point. So dude, dude, dude. You want to do something, something, something? Ugh, can't today, dude. Aw, oh, man. It's cool. For the purposes of this Let's Play, I am hanging out with B, but there's a whole other plot with Greg um, that should you ever get to play this game, you should definitely explore. Um, I'll probably play through a Greg playthrough <laughs> um, at some point, but just not now. Because B's my favorite. Though I do love Greg. So, are we doing this? Let's hang out! Hi, B. Hi, May. Hi, Germ. Hey, dude. Germ is helping me move stuff for under the table cash. Well, I'm knocking off work early to pick up some groceries. Wanna come? Sure.
Ready to go? You got a lot of hammers. Holy shit, there's so many kinds of nails. All right, then. He's like something out of a children's book. About whatever the hell he is. This place killed the food donkey. Yeah, kinda. Food! You know, no one who works here had anything to do with that. Donkey! You sure showed Ham Panther Corporate who's boss. Actually. Did you know our senator is on the Ham Panther board or something? You know you're zero fun, right? I do know that, yes. Okay. I need to grab a few things quick. Oh, I thought we were gonna hang out. Uh, we are hanging out. I'm just here to grab something for dinner for Dad and me. Don't feel like doing the big shop tonight. Let me pick out what we have. Oh, I'm sorry, are you coming to dinner? Can I? Um, I guess. Are you asking? I wasn't. But now it feels weird not to. I'll pick out what we eat then. Wait, you're serious? Yeah. You know what? Go for it. I hate shopping. Need like a main course and two sides? Fancy. Eh, we're traditional. What kind of main course? We can stop back in the meat section before, once you pick out whatever else. What about dessert? We're not children. Appetizer? We're on a budget, May. Okay, okay, okay. You hang out and I'll be right back. Just make it quick and not too horrible. Also, Dad's sensitive to broccoli. Oh, also, no shoplifting this time. Aw. I can afford a few groceries, May. Also, this place has cameras. Good point. Good old mac and cheese. Mmm, boy. Delicious. Hmm. Biscuits. Ooh la la. Hmm. Should I get bakey shaky? That goes well with me. No. Okay, full disclosure, part of the reason that I didn't do uh, the voice when I was picking out the cream of chicken soup was because I was 100% looking up a way to get an achievement that's associated with this game, uh, with this particular part of the game, um, which depends a lot on the ingredients you choose here. So, my dad works at the deli. We could go there for the meats. Okay. Ahoy there, ladies. Hey, Dad. Hey, B. Long time no see. How are you, Mr. Baraski? Can't complain. Just me and the meats. Meat friends. 
Helps to stay friendly with your prime cuts and best fishes. True. Still weird seeing you here. Beats the alternatives. I think I saw my old music teacher when we came in. Oh yeah, that was Mr. Armistead. Looks like it's his job to say hello to people? Yep, called a greeter. I knew I recognized him from somewhere. Alternatives? Not working. Oh. So, what are you lovely ladies doing here? Just grabbing something for dinner. How's your dad? All right. What can I get for you ladies? Chicken. Can't go wrong there. Hmm. Do I want to pull the trigger on these meats? Yes. B, you should come by for dinner sometime. At the Ham Panther? At home, May. I'll grill us up something nice. We can chop up just about anything back here. That would be nice, thank you. Yeah. Okay, let's get our meats. Coming right up. All right, dinner decided. I'm not even looking at what you got. That is how straight up tired I am. It's gonna be great. All right, let's keep moving. All right, ladies, let's see what all you got. Hmm, hmm, yes, okay. Looks like a great dinner you got planned. All right, thanks, Mr. Borowski. Tell your dad I said hello. See you later, Dad. Night, ladies. That was fun. Yep, groceries. Really makes you appreciate life. Your sarcasm is invalid. Shopping is fun. Woohoo. Dinner time. Hey, this is pretty good. Yeah, this is like alarmingly good. Thanks. My grandma used to make chicken and biscuits back on the farm. Great grandma had a farm? I thought they had a shoe shop. Eh, details. She should pick out our meals every night. No, Dad, we'd die of some sort of sugar shock. Not true. I also do burgers and tacos and pizza. Well, then we'd just die of that. Worse ways. I can do a salad. Hallelujah. <laughs> May, you're all right. Ha 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 ha. This definitely turned out better than whatever it is you made in that basement last night. What? Nothing. Thanks. I'm pretty great. So yeah, we're all paid up till the 15th next month. All right. That rock salt sorted? Yeah, should be fine. Is Rob still driving that big truck? As far as I know. Okay, uh, I need you to sign some things. Let them on the bar. Think I might just get to them. Please do. Uh, we have to pay the guys in a few days. I don't need you to remind me. I know, but I don't, Beatrice. Whose name's on the deed? Yours, Dad. Whose name's on the checks? Yours. Good dinner, May. Real good. Smelter's playing tonight. We're gonna go hang out in my room. Yeah. You girls have a nice time. Thanks for dinner, May. Yep. Smelters, huh? You a fan? I like hockey. Hockey? Psh. What's not to like about hockey? 
bunch of men prancing around on ice skates. And beating the living crap out of each other. Eh, can't get excited about a puck. But, but it's like expected that someone is going to be bleeding by the end. No sportsmanship in it. How is what I described not sportsmanship? Nah. Did you guys just move in? Ten months ago. Why aren't you unpacked? Pretty cool record player. As far as record players go. It was my mom's. I don't have any records. I don't get records. My mom was into them. <laughs> they were retro when she was my age. They're retro now. That's how retro works. So I've got a question. Mm-hmm. Your dad's kind of up and down, huh? He has good days and bad days. Often in the same day. Huh. <laughs> Greg's always been like that, too. Just more, uh, zany about it. Well, Greg is probably bipolar. Gee, thanks, Dr. B. Whereas my dad is having a years-long breakdown. You run the whole store now, right? More or less. Yeah, but it's still his name on everything. Yep. And meanwhile, you're running basically everything. Yep. And, and, working there every day too. Yep. I just think you shouldn't. Okay. I would probably just quit. Or like, take over the store. Like, you not doing anything about it just reinforces. Is this really the road you want to go down with this? I'm saying you should stand up for yourself or just like, quit. Quit? Really, just quit. You are seriously detached from reality. You're doing all the work and he's getting all the credit. Oh, go to hell. What? You heard me. What is your problem? Here's some reality for you. You know Creek? Repair guy at Creek at the shop? No? You've seen him. Talks a lot. Worked for us since forever. When I was 15, he asked my dad if he could teach me how to drive. And my dad said no, and then told me not to be alone with him. What the? Yeah, exactly. And you know what? He still works for us. Why haven't you fired him? I can't fire people. And even if I could, he's on the crew. And frankly, he's our best guy, practically heads up the repair team. Since my dad's barely doing anything. And Creek's got a family and he needs the work. Ugh, I'm gonna be sick. Yeah, me too. I'm really familiar with that feeling. I'm just saying, if you keep letting these dudes off the hook, off the hook? Like, you're stronger than this, B. You're like, badass and shit. Y you, badass? My mom dying was not very badass. Me sitting in this room right now is not very badass. Okay, sorry, I... You are such a shithead, you know that? What the hell? Uh -huh, what the hell? A lot of the time, folks can't just choose to do whatever it is you decree to be the right thing. A lot of times, people do the things they do because they can't do anything else. You always have a choice. You can always choose. I love it when games give me meaningful options for dialogue. Choose what? Honestly, tell me. 
What is my choice here? Tell your dad you're not going to take this. Tell him what? What is your magic solution that I need to do? I am seriously going to punch your goddamn lights out. You come in here and start telling me how I'm screwing things up? You want to come in here and say, oh yeah, just ditch your dad, who is both getting old and can barely get off the couch half the time? Oh, but good dinner, May. You want to come in here and say, oh yeah, just start this big drama and make your life way more stressful? It's just not right, is what I'm saying. Yeah, it isn't. Nothing's right. The whole effing world isn't right. Like, Greg is probably off going, doing God knows what wacky shit right now. I'm here making dinner and doing payroll. You know, like, nothing about my life. You just know what I should do. And you're the last person I'd ask for advice. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're sorry. Everyone's sorry. But you don't get it. I thought we were having fun. We went to the mall. We got stuck in a basement. Yeah, and that was all you did those days. I worked a good six hours before you even woke up, probably, and came home each night after you and I were done to pay bills and figure out how we're making next payroll, while Dad slept on the couch. This isn't fun. I should go. You should go. Wonderful chicken. Yes, sir. Oof. What's up? Long day. Yeah, same here. How's socializing? Surprisingly tiring sometimes. Yeah, that's why I don't do much of it. Pleasant surprise seeing you at work tonight. Yeah, I can't believe I hadn't visited yet. Well, you haven't been back long. And you're not usually lurking at the Ham Panther. Who's to say I'm not? Well, it was nice seeing you anyway. Lurk, lurk. Any idea what was up with Mom today?